How long do you guys think it'll take for everyone to turn on Gypsy Rose Blanchard? About 10 days. It's been just a few days since I posted my video, my original video about Gypsy Rose and how people were obsessed over her screaming, yes, queen, you get out of jail. J See Rose, woo, j j see Rose, woo. There were marching bands in the streets. People were posting their TikToks saying, get it girl, we stan you. And just like that, within a few days, people switched and canceled her. Gypsy Rose is absolutely a fraud and I have proof. Completely and totally did it for me. I'm sick of it. I am so glad that people are starting to talk about the negatives of Gypsy Rose having this much attention right now. I changed my opinion on the Gypsy Rose situation in less than 24 hours. Let's talk about it. I used to stand her and be like, yes, queen, like every single one of you do. I watched the act. I felt so bad for her and she's a hero and a victim and this, that, and the third. Guys, if you're wondering why I'm wearing a waist trainer and my boobs are pushed up to my nose, it's because I have a herniated disc. It freaking sucks. I'm sitting on a butt pillow right now. Hello and welcome to Closet Chronicle. Closet commentary. We'll buff out those scratches on the name later. Suggestions welcomed in the comment section. Let me know. You guys can name it. This is where we're a lot laid back, less edited than my normal video. So tell me, what do you expect? While you're down there in the comment section, please hit the subscribe button. My goal is to get to 850,000. You guys recently got me to 800K. Thank you. And there's so many topics to talk about on here. Who am I gonna talk about the internet drama with? Hmm? Myself, like normal, sometimes that gets a little boring, okay? Sometimes I like to just practice my makeup. I see things on the internet and I need to tell you how am I gonna do that if you are not subscribed and put the notifications on. Do you really want me in my closet talking to myself? Okay, so I had to talk to you about this because in my original Gypsy Rose video, I got a few girlies out there saying, Michelle, I thought you, of all people, were a girl's girl, a girly girly. How can you not be supporting Gypsy Rose? How are you not screaming yes queen with us on TikTok? That was a little weird for me because in that video, I wasn't yes queening, but I also wasn't against her. I said at least once, I don't really know my opinion on this situation. Uh, you could say that I'm a bit indifferent about the whole thing. And it's just a situation that I'm just kind of like, and I did say it was very odd that people are literally licking this woman's ass crap. A lot of these like Stan, Gypsy Rose people were all up in those cheeks. But you guys know the internet, it gets a little cultish on here sometimes. If you aren't all up someone's butt cheeks or completely against them, people get really upset. Like you have to choose a side. And I don't always do that. For this situation, I'm a, I just don't know, okay? Well, on the topic of Gypsy Rose stands, those stands are turning against her. What did I tell you? I told you guys the internet will either make or break her and the chick has been thrown mentally around Around, like whiplashed for years. She gets out of prison and it continues to be whiplashed mentally. Most people were praising her brand deals, tons of social media attention. I think she's almost at 10 million followers on TikTok overnight. Celebrities are following her. A celebrity reached out and said, hey Gypsy, I'ma fix your teeth. And now the internet, the same people that were saying yes queen on their TikToks has dethroned her and cast her in the pit of cancellation. Just like that. So why is she getting canceled? If you actually do some research and watch her interviews, she's not a good person. One of the main things is that people are saying that she is the master of manipulation. So a lot of people thought that Gypsy Rose was gonna get out of prison. She's, she was gonna want her privacy. She was going to not not want any attention. She was just gonna want a normal life and just go into hiding and do her Gypsy Rose thing. Well, as you can see, the exact opposite happened. Miss Gypsy embraced social media. She's responding to comments. She's going to events and she's doing a lot of interviews, multiple. Um, you know what's funny is I can't dance she's worth anything. A I'm a klutz, I'm so klutzy. Like I do the white girl dance and I'm just like, I, I can't even twerk that well. Um, you, you know, can, I maybe. <laughs> You do great. Uh, you know, yeah, you never know. I, I don't think I'd do it right now, but I can come back to it a little later. From, from personal experience, I know she's not too great in high heels, so maybe not. She's trying. <laughs> she's getting there, though. I'm I getting swear. it. I'm doing my best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they gave this woman a microphone. Who, uh, who is her PR? section of the interview that has people shook where she says well I don't know why people are mad at me or critiquing me about the murder of my mom uh, I didn't I didn't do it it was Nick it was it was Nick did the the initial killing I'm not capable of killing I don't associate myself as a murderer because if you think about it yes I had a part to play in it I 
requested, I asked you, Nick for help. And how that all conversation started was, you know, he was saying that he would protect me from anyone. I said, anyone. He said, yes. I said, even my mother. He said, yes. And then the, the plan kind of formed from there. But he's the one that did the actual kill, not me. I can't kill anyone. That's why he's in trouble to begin with, because he's the one that did it. So when they say I'm a murderer, I don't identify as that. I'm not going to go back and forth with the, is she capable of killing or not? Personally, for me, I'm just like, I feel like she's got a lot of problems because she didn't have a normal childhood. She had a very traumatic childhood, right? Okay, so you guys can fight about that in the comment section. I'll kill you! I like talking about the social media aspect. Here's the thing with Gypsy. She went to jail like when Facebook was the cool thing. All the kids had it, right? Like all the cool people had Facebook. Parents still thought it was kind of weird. They weren't really into it yet. At that time, you could still make edgy jokes. Hell, you could say the R word, the N word. All the, a lot of the top social media people were still saying the N word in their videos. They were painting their skin brown back in that day. Fat activists were not a popular thing. Dawson was still eating cheesecake on the floor of his kitchen and people loved it. And lastly, cancel culture just was not like it was now. I don't know if Gypsy truly understands that if you say one wrong thing on the internet, they will annihilate you completely. And if your sponsor sees that, they will throw you away in the trash. You are, you are no longer of use to them. If the general public says a no, the sponsorships and top celebrities say bye-bye. So I was aghast when I saw her on a couch, microphone in hand, and mouth a moving. So many people are watching these and picking up that she's quite manipulative. Many people are saying she's narcissistic and very similar to her mother. She shows how much of a narcissist she is. She says she's taking accountability, but she puts this out on the media. I am telling you, after seeing this interview, I already thought she was kind of sort of not being 100% honest, but I really think she's a fraud now, and I think she'd reoffend. She's a master manipulator, and she learned by the best one there was, her mother. So of course people in this comment section had their comments and things to say who are still, you know, they don't, you have to be on Gypsy Rose's side, you have to support her. I'm sorry, I didn't know you knew the whole story. Megan? Do you know the whole story? None of us were in this situation. This is why I don't have much of an opinion on this. That most of us, like people are in the comment section are saying, you need to put yourself in her shoes. This thing, all the people in that comment section, me and the people watching, will absolutely never be in a situation where we were born and our mom told us our legs didn't work and she was giving us unneeded surgery and she shaved our head and took out our teeth. We will probably, at least for me, I 100% can't go back in time and my mom treats me like that. So the whole me putting myself in her shoes, I don't know what I would do in that situation. I can't tell you what I would do in that situation. I have no idea how I would react as a child and then bringing myself up like that. I don't know what my mental state would be. I clearly would not be the same person that I am now. So that's why I'm just someone that's like, huh. Okay, that's the story. I tend to talk about her presence on social media instead. It's just very interesting. Someone like me looking out and then people talking about how I have to choose a side. No, I do not. And I will not. All I know is that it hurts to sit. I'm wearing a waist trainer that I don't like because I prefer my gut to hang out. Dude, put that thing away. And this story is intense. And people are surprised that I'm not saying yes, queen, go Gypsy Road. And now those same people are canceling her. Second reason people are canceling Gypsy Rose. Oh, what's that? You thought it was one thing? <laughs> Honey, who are you, Gypsy? This is the internet. It can't ever be one thing. They gonna find something else to be mad at. I'll kill you! Okay, so according to TikTok, Gypsy Rose is pimping out her underage cousin. Gypsy Rose pimping out her underage nephew to her over 8 million followers on Instagram completely and totally did it for me. I'm sick of it. I am so glad that people are starting to talk about the negatives of Gypsy Rose having this much attention right now because it's honestly dangerous. Walking out of prison after spending the last eight years isolated and before that a life full of trauma, torture, isolation, manipulation, lies. Walking into a life with all this attention, immediate fame, immediate 10 million followers, immediate 8 million followers on Instagram, red carpets, podcasts, news interviews, lifetime specials. This is incredibly dangerous. The reach and the 
influence that she now has is so dangerous because then we get posts like this girls show my boy some loves in his dms only age appropriate ones though he's only 15 lol heart winky face smiley face completely and totally inappropriate can you imagine the dms that this kid got from the weirdos that just want to be close to her. So once again, this just brings me back to the, we live in a different time now, and she probably didn't think anything of this. She's probably extremely confused as to why people are mad about this. One, because she said in the post, any age appropriate people interested in my cousin. She didn't ask for older women or anything, and so she's probably confused as, but why is this such a big deal? Pre-prison, we were, we were putting their kids on the internet. People loved family channels and they were extremely popular at the time. Actually, back in the day, we would just post all the time. What was our Facebooks looking like before? It was like a picture of a cup of coffee. And then we would quote a Beyonce song or Avril Lavigne. I don't know which one, maybe both. Back then we didn't pick sides. Well, 10 years later, family channels are canceled. And now most people actually blur their faces of anyone that's underage. Things are a little different. And it has to be a lot coming from jail and just skip getting thrown straight into this. You are bound to get canceled. I think people were talking about the same thing with Britney Spears because she, a lot of her social media was controlled by her father or her, like her te father's team. And someone saw that Jeffree Star commented or sent her something, something like that. She interacted with Jeffree Star and the internet blew up. She probably doesn't know. And even if she did, y'all wanted her to be free? Let that girl fly to the YouTube Voldemort. It has been 10 years since she has been out of prison or eight, I don't know, it's been a long time, okay? It has changed, the internet has changed. The internet changes every single year. So I got a few comments saying that I was harsh in my, in my original video. No, I was not, I was not harsh. You know what's harsh though? The internet and the collective group of people who want to know everything about your life. And if you say one wrong thing, they will send you into the infirmary and burn you alive. That's what's harsh. That opinion gets thrown in the trash. I don't have a trash can right here. Wait, hold on, I have a phone. That opinion goes right in this Ross bag full of trash. Just kidding, it's your guys' opinion and that's fine, but I feel like it lacked substance. And me and my boobs and my waist trainer does not agree. <laughs> the final reasoning that Gypsy got canceled this week for, because there'll be more, she keeps doing interviews that she's making money off of the crime. And I already talked about that in my first video. There was a little bit of discussion about her making money off of the crime. Um, but now a lot of her stands are coming out and being a little irritated that she keeps doing interview after interview, that she's posting on social media, that she's this big social media queen. But I think it's because people love struggle. People love to see you struggle and come up, but they don't like you to really stay there. They start, not everybody, but they start seeing, they start getting a little jealous. And she's making it big, she's killing it. So it could be just the mix of the interviews that she's doing, her saying, oh, I didn't kill nobody. That's why I'm out here partying it up on the red carpet with my man, having great sex. And Nick's in jail, he's the one that did it. So maybe it's just all too much for people and they jump on the bandwagon so quickly to support something that I feel like what they tell us, they still don't tell us everything. So just with this situation, it's not something that I'm like, oh yeah, you go girl. And I'm also not like, oh, F you, gypsy. Like I'm just someone who's like, wow, this, my my face constant, it just constantly does that. I just, it, that's what it is, this face. I just think if she is this master manipulator, if she's not a good person, if she's just, you know, something's going on there. Her being on social media, she's gonna tell us exactly who she is very quickly. And it comes out all the time of who someone truly is. The longer they are on social media and the more they keep talking. And this girl absolutely loves to talk. She likes to tell her story and, and she should tell her story. But it's interesting to see how the internet is quickly turning on her. It's only been a little over a week, but I will be watching and I will make sure to tell you guys about it either in my studio or in my closet. I and my co-host, thank you for being here. Get outside, get some fresh air, and I'll see you guys next time. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. I've been on the flex since flex zone. Neighborhood all in your eardrums.